Hi, I recommend you do this with two devices. Load up this simulation on your computer, but watch my video, my instruction on your phone. I'm showing you how to start the game. Um, you have the link in your handout, but if you just search PHET, balancing equations, you can see it comes up. Um, yeah. Balancing chemical equations, there it is. And it will take you to this screen right here. Make sure it has this five, that means it's web-based. Originally these were done with Java and see there it is with a cup of coffee. Originally done with Java, you don't want that, you want this one. When you get to the web page, it'll look like this, just click on the play button. I'm going to do an introduction. So, you have this blank screen. There's only three choices here at the bottom. So the choices are make ammonia, separate water, combust methane. I'll just do the first one first. So the controls are these arrows. Uh, you can see the up arrow adds another molecule. And the down arrow subtracts. You're trying to make a balanced equation. So I'll do this, which is not correctly balanced. Tools will help you know when is it balanced. So I'll first use this scale. You know, that's a balance. It's showing the two elements as two separate teeter-totters. The elements are nitrogen and hydrogen. Nitrogen is not in balance. The left side of the teeter-totter is the left side of the chemical equation. The right side of the teeter-totter is the right side of the chemical equation. Same with this hydrogen seesaw. So I need to make it so that these are in balance. I can take away some from the left and you'll see it's helping. It's helping. And now if I add one to the right, I press the up arrow on the right. Now you see the nitrogens are in balance. Yay! And you should see in the picture two atoms of nitrogen and there are two separate atoms of nitrogen here on the right. How about the hydrogens? The scale here, the balance, is saying now there's way too many on the right. And you should see them, one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogen atoms. There's only two on the left. Can I bring those into balance? Yes, I just did it. The happy face, sun is shining, all is well. This is the balanced equation. These are the coefficients. One nitrogen molecule and two, three diatomic hydrogen molecules make two ammonia molecules, NH3. Now we'll look at another example. Separate water. H2O is water. Here's hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. There's a different tool that I'll use on this one. Right now it says they're not equal. Let's see. Not equal. I have two hydrogen atoms on the left, one oxygen atom on the left. It's represented by these numbers and the bar graph. How about I do this? So this requires you to look back and forth from left to right, which is more realistic. When you do this in real life, you have to be able to count atoms and look back and forth from left to right. The hydrogen right now is balanced. Can I make the oxygen balanced? I clearly need some oxygen, but the minimum I can get here is two because of the diatomic molecule. So now I have to go back to the left and say I need at least two oxygens. There we go. Now the oxygen is in balance. The hydrogen is not in balance. I uh, need more on the right. Boom. Happy face says it's now in balance. Did it. Coefficients are two for the water, two for the hydrogen gas, one for the oxygen gas. Go back to this one. This is an alternative way of saying hydrogen is in balance, oxygen is in balance. It's all good. So you may choose either tool when you're doing this introduction. Uh, if this one speaks better to you, use it. If this one speaks better to you, use it. I'm not doing the last one. You should try that one on your own. 
with this introduction. It's really a tutorial. All right, what you really want to do is the game. So on the bottom here, there's the home button. Game. Boom. If you click on the game, there are three levels. Make sure you see the three levels. Uh, many times when I started it, I double clicked and it automatically took me to level three, which is really hard. So uh, there is a timer function here if you want to challenge yourself, but I'm starting with level one. This is a little bit different because there's no scale, there's no bar graph. Uh, but the goal is the same to balance the equation. I put a hydrogen molecule, I'll put an oxygen molecule, I'll put an H2O. So the pictures show you the atoms, and I'll just check it. Did I do it right? No, I did not. Why? Why? Now it's showing me the tool that we saw before, and it's showing hydrogen is balanced, but oxygen is not. So let's try again, try again, try again. All right, can I bring it into balance? Um, now, oxygen atoms are balanced. See the two red ones on the right balance the two red ones on the left. But there are four hydrogens on the right and only two on the left. Boop. Check it. Boom. Okay, I got one point. If I had gotten it right on my first try, I would have two points. But it gives you a nice happy face and it's a nice happy sound. And then you go to the next one. So, start with level one. When you say that was easy, then up here on the right you can see there's a start over button. You can go to level two and that'll be harder than level one, significantly harder. And then, if you go to level three, they're really challenging. Uh, look at that. That is not going to be easy, is it? So I'm hoping that we can have a tournament on Friday uh, with level three. If you think you're a good chemist, that you have skill, then let's go level three on Friday, live head-to-head -head competition, um, get the highest score in the shortest amount of time and we can uh, have spectators watch your progress. So I'm hoping that makes sense to you. Um, you can see clearly those are complicated molecules and so this is not going to be easy to balance. Yeah, I got it wrong. Okay, show why. Now it's showing me with the, uh, with the bar graph and saying I got way too many hydrogens on the left. All right, have fun with this. I, I like it a lot and it's visual, you can try as many times as you like, get the happy sounds. To show your teachers that you've done this, uh, please give us a screenshot. So like take a screenshot of your progress, it shows level two, it shows my score of seven. That's what you should upload. On the post-test Google form, there'll be a place for you to upload your picture showing us your progress in this game. So have fun and gain some skill while you're doing it. Bye-bye.